everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Costco haul that I want to share with you guys. It's been about a month since I went to Costco and the primary reason that we went today was to get a few items but mainly it was for uh, post twin uh, stuff like stuff to make freezer meals out of. I'm doing about two and a half weeks so I've got to get on making freezer meals and I'm actually going to start doing some of that today and um, so we went and picked up some stuff for some freezer meals. I also have to go by Walmart and get a few other things there but um, we picked up a lot of stuff today. I don't remember how much I spent per item uh, for you know the stuff here on the table but if I do remember I will you know mention that obviously. Now starting off over here I got two cases of my Kerrygold butter. I'm going to be making a bunch of freezer mashed potatoes, like a ton, like enough to last me probably the rest of the year and then some. And um, so anyway, so I needed butter for that. I think these were $7 a piece. Over here I got some cucumbers for our salads. Uh, Matt wanted to have this um, salsa, so he grabbed some of that. I don't know how much that was. We got a big uh, container of some jalapenos. I think this was only like $4. It wasn't very expensive at all. And then he also picked up, picked up some olives for his salad. I don't know how much that was. Over here we got some uh, cheese for sandwiches and this was $4 for all of this cheese. So it comes with Swiss, cheddar, Colby Jack, and then Monterey Jack. And then um, some eggs and these were like $3.50 I believe. We got three pounds of bananas. Uh, these were $1.99. These strawberries were uh, $3 for two pounds. And then the romaine lettuce, I remember that was $4 for uh, six of them. Here we got a bunch of bread. So we've got some hamburger buns, some King's Hawaiian rolls, some hot dog buns, and then some just regular sandwich bread. The uh, hamburger buns are gonna be for some hamburgers and like Sloppy Joe's. I had to get the hamburger patties from Walmart because we were looking at the kind that they had at Costco and it was like 50 pounds, you know, of like ground beef. I'm just gonna pick up a smaller uh, package of that at Walmart. The King Hawaiian rolls are gonna be for um, my Philly cheesesteak sliders that I'm going to make and freeze. Hot dog buns are for some hot dogs, and then sandwich bread is for sandwiches. Over here, I have 15 pounds of potatoes. Uh, it was the smallest bag I could find, but it was only like seven or eight dollars. It just wasn't that expensive at all. So I'm going to cook all of these, make mashed potatoes. It'll probably take up half of my freezer, but we have a lot of meals that uh, call for mashed potatoes on the side, so it would just be nice to have that on hand. And back here is some frozen pizza, just some thin crust. Uh, it's a pack of four, and it was $10, and Matt really wanted to try this, so he grabbed that. And then he also grabbed some of these uh, tortillas that are kind of raw, and then you just put them on the skillet and cook them up. Uh, we have a lot of meals coming up that are like tacos, uh, breakfast tacos, uh, chicken wraps, things like that. So it's nice to have a bunch of tortillas. Apparently you can freeze these and it comes in two 25 packs. So um, hopefully these will last a while. I also got some more of this uh, turkey breast. He really, really liked this and it lasted for like almost a month. Um, it never went bad, it was never gross. So um, he really liked it. He said it was the cleanest turkey he's ever had. So got some more of this for his uh, sandwiches. Also grabbed some beef jerky. Um, yeah, so I don't know how much that was. Uh, the turkey was $10.81. Also got some uh, small containers of guacamole. I have been buying these at Walmart, but I think for four of them, it was like five bucks. And this package comes with uh, 12 and it was $12. So about a dollar a piece. So just a little bit cheaper than they sell at Walmart. Also got a huge bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now that I'm home, I kind of realized that this was like way too many chocolate chips, but I figured with the holidays coming up, I love baking. I will probably go through all of these by the time January hits uh, after the holidays. So it was only like $8, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Back here, I have some of my wonderful Promised Land chocolate milk, uh, two half gallons, and then a uh, gallon of 2% milk. And then Connor got some more goldfish, and then I got a bunch of macaroni and cheese. I mentioned in my last Costco video that I love mac and cheese. I know it's super bad, but it's just my thing. Uh, this comes with 18, so I will, it'll, I'll, it'll take me like a year, honestly, like to go through this, this box. So um, I got that. I think the goldfish were $7, and then the mac and cheese was like $14. The milk was $2, and then the chocolate milk was $7. And then over here, we got some more uh, fruit gummies for Connor. Uh, Matt and Connor really love these Annie's uh, bunny gummies. And so I think this box was $15 and it comes with 42 uh, packets. So I got some cereal down here, some Fruit Loops, uh, Cocoa Krispies, and Apple Jacks. I think it was $7 for all three boxes. 
And then over here, we got some sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. On my meal plan, I'm gonna be making some pulled pork. And so I was gonna get a pork uh, butt, but I, we couldn't find it at Costco, so that's something I have to pick up at Walmart. So I'm gonna make, uh, hopefully, a pretty big batch of it and freeze it for some freezer meals. And then we also got some of these K-cups down here um, for our coffee maker. Now, this comes with 60 and it was $36, which I didn't feel like was the best deal, but Matt swears by this Pike Place uh, flavor, I guess, and he's like, no, it's really, really good. So we decided to go ahead and pick it up. I'm fine with like the great value brand coffee. Um, I know that they have a pretty big box at Walmart that's like 96 cups and it's like 30 bucks, so it's a way better value. But again, he wanted this uh, Starbucks brand, so we went ahead and grabbed that. Oh, and the barbecue sauce was like $5 and 50 something cents. It was not very expensive at all. It came out to like 250 per bottle. These are pretty big bottles, they're 40 ounces. So good deal on that. Okay, and down here is all of the meat that we got. Um, <laughs> sorry, you can see my tummy. So uh, down here, uh, we got a whole bunch of hot dogs. Now, as far as meal planning, I'm pretty good about you know, meal planning for dinner and stuff like that, but I always kind of forget about lunch. Uh, so we decided to go ahead and get a bunch of hot dogs. That way, you know, here in the next few months, we can have hot dogs, you know, maybe once a week or something like that uh, for a quick lunch. And here I got eight pounds of this organic grass-fed ground beef. We're gonna be making a bunch of stuff with this. So I grabbed some of that. And then uh, this was kind of a last minute purchase. They had the little sand at the end of the uh, aisle, the lady that was passing out the free samples. We tried these chicken nuggets and they were really, really good. So we decided to go ahead and pick up a bag. I don't remember how much the hot dogs were, um, but the uh, ground beef was $20 per sleeve. So that comes out to $5 per pound. And then the chicken nuggets, I wanna say they were like eight bucks. They really weren't that bad. So um, we bought them. <laughs> so that is it for everything that we got at Costco today. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.